friends, fellow colleagues. I cannot uh, express how happy I am to see you all here. Nepal was a kind of buzzing conference because a lot of people were meeting together in one room after a very long time. The fact that we could meet each other, we could strategize, we could think through the current problems of the world, especially in development finance, it seemed the right and uh, most appropriate workshop to have. We met so many incredible campaigners from different regions and different countries. This is the attempt to come together, to see each other, to know each other, to exchange more intensively, to work with local communities. Um, and perhaps in the end, we know better which tool we can apply when dealing with Chinese-led infrastructure investments. There was a felt need amongst many of us South Asian activists who dabbled in the energy and infrastructure and IFI space about how we should come together to be a stronger voice from the South, especially South Asia. Because quite often communities on the ground, some of whom we work with and support, they feel like their story is not heard. That, that they are fighting their battles alone over long periods of time and that nobody understands or cares. So we all know that uh, development finance has a commitment to respect human rights and of the communities and to be consulted yeah. meaningfully, but it's not happening and we all know that and we've seen it. There's no consequence for their failures. Safeguard policies are violated every single day. It's the challenge for us. It is us. It is us fighting to get good safeguards, to get perfect safeguards, remove the flood, remove all the loopholes, really make it like the epitome of the word, which is to make communities safe to guard the communities. If you see that filing a case will actually be harmful for the local movement, you don't file the case. Because the other side will hire the best lawyers of the country. They may even get lawyers from the foreign countries to assist the national level lawyers. The government will be biased in favor of the contract it has signed. So it is important that you have all the scientific information, you understand the science. Just for those who are not familiar with the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, it was launched in 2016 by China. Uh, but it labels itself as a multilateral development bank. And as with many of the policy areas in China, usually that's what happens. The top leader only give you a very vague guideline, give you a very vague direction, and but the actual implementers of the policies need to find a way um, to somehow satisfy the top leadership. Is there a push from the Chinese civil society or civil society in China? I don't think there is, but you know, there is a, if there is a civil society push in China 
for you know holding these uh, companies or banks accountable in their international financing or international involvements. In Rima, we had the opportunity to learn about Chinese infrastructure finance and. Us at NGO Forum on ADB, we know that China plays a heavy hand in the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, and this really reflects on how safeguards policies, transparency on project information plays out in Asia, um, because China is a big, very big donor and funder for uh, governments doing infrastructure projects. So Rima was definitely a place where we can keep a closer eye on China in the region. Rima, I thought, was an opportunity for those of us in the Global South who um, are part of community struggles or are supportive of uh, communities fighting for their environment, their livelihood, their lives, uh, their health, etc. Uh, to sort of see their story in their own word, be heard, be supported, uh, get information, uh, you know, push and apply more, uh, you know, concerted pressure where an international community would be with them, with a struggling community on the ground to see that they can effect change. अधिकार पाके पौरले दिए मुझे ही इंद्रा मिसेरा रितु मिसेरा से इंकान के वो से पाकर कानी वार जेले पनी वाले चाय को खंड में जेले वाले असर पौरी को अनुभव पूंछा तेज पची मात्री वाले उजुर करना सपनों पूंछा The other highlight of the trip was the field trip where we went and interacted with the community which was grappling with the effects of a project and I think that was very humbling, inspiring, they had had a long struggle and I think that sort of everything that we discussed within the four walls of a conference hall suddenly took root and gave us strength when we interacted with the community and it all came back to us why this work is so important and how Rima could be um, a vehicle to see that communities like this could find justice. <laughs>